Okay, here's the table. We're going to decoupage. We'll do something pretty easy today. I've got to go to the hardware store to get some paint, but this was a really nice little side table that was given to me. So we're about to decorate it and let me go get some supplies and show you how to do this. Okay, I'm moving on to the second step and before I go any further, I'll tell you what you will need. You will have to be wearing some painting clothes and rubber or latex gloves. Uh, the, the tighter fitting, the better. Black flat spray paint. Ivory flat spray paint. I am not sure if I'm going to use this wrapping paper that is music. It's just one long music sheet or if I'm going to use this French script on the top. I'll know as I go along. Either way, you're going to want something for your background. So one of those two will do. I also have images of a violin that I'm going to cut out to decoupage over top of that. So you will need decoupage scissors, decoupage glue, sponge brushes. This is a either an old credit card or a supermarket card drop cloth, you'll need something to put down so that you can get spray paint all over it. A uh, screwdriver, because you will probably need to remove some of the hardware. There was just a little knob on here. I'm going to replace that with something that fits the project. And blue painter's tape, which is a low-tack tape, and then a damp cloth. And I already sanded this down. I'm sorry, I don't even know if I mentioned sandpaper. I actually have one of these sanding blocks. It's a medium grit. And you don't want to take paint off. That's not the idea. Really, I'm just trying to scuff it up a little bit. It helps remove old oils, any impurities, anything that's gotten on there. This was not my piece of furniture. It was given to me. And it's been sitting around and I've been dying to do something with it. So here's my chance. Okay, so the flat black spray paint is on the base. I covered the top with the flat cream or ivory colored, which I'm not going to get too concerned about that because we're covering that with, I've decided to go with the music paper. So I just wanted to show you this part. I'm now going to spray paint the bottom with the ivory color and then I'll sand it to bring through some of that black underneath. Just want to give it a nice chippy beachy look, okay? Be right back when we're done with that. Okay, now I'm going to sand around the edges, just the edges and not on the top because that's going to get decoupaged. So uh, just to distress the rest of it, I'm taking, it's about a hundred grit sandpaper and you can see I've already started and I'll just go around the piece and distress it a little bit more before we get to the decoupage. Okay, I finished painting and aging the piece that's not decoupaged on top yet. I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I do the decoupage. And I did not add in the beginning, I like to use water when I decoupage. So you might want to have a cup handy. Normally I'd ask you to take a tray so that you can dip your paper in there, but since this is such a long sheet of paper, you wouldn't, probably wouldn't have a tub long enough, uh, unless you have a baby pool, <laughs> um, to dip that into. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just take a cup of water, a container of water, watch what I do and I'll show you how I get this done. Uh, and here's how we'll do the decoupage. This is cut just enough so that you can fold it over, decoupage it underneath. You don't see any edges. If you'd like, you can use deckled scissors so that it's got a decorative cut underneath, but you don't see that anyway, so I'm not going to do that, but you might want to do it. We're going to need our credit card, sponge brush, decoupage glue, water, and of course the paper we're using. This is a longer surface, so I'm going to work in smaller areas at a time. Here's how I'll start. Whoops. 
By the way, I forgot to tell you, I used a screwdriver and went around and beat up the desk a little bit just to make it a bit more chippy. I wanted a little more aging to it. This water is making the paper very pliable. It's wrapping paper, so it's somewhat absorbent. Obviously not like a paper towel or tissue. With that, decoupage glue. Good thing we're outside, it's just water. I get it very sloppy. Okay, now I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to pull on it a little bit. You see, I have it weighted over here. You want to be pretty gentle because, as you can imagine, wetting the paper will make it a little weaker. And you can see this is a messy craft. But it's all non-toxic, which is nice, the decoupage glues. I always use a brayer or the credit card in this case. Do gentle strokes to push any glue or air bubbles out. This is really important. There's a lot of excess dripping down there now. It secures the paper, gets rid of the air bubbles, gives it a nice professional finish. Especially on a larger piece like this. Just be careful not to go too heavy with the pressure. And I'm going to cut these corners just like I'm wrapping a gift. Okay, finish that first section and you can see how there's a big wrinkle right there because we haven't started on that yet. I'll do a little bit of that so that you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can hear me out here. And here's how we work on that next piece. Okay, most of it is done. I wanted to show you this one last corner. So 
so that I could show you what I mean when I'm talking about doing the corners as if you're gift wrapping. Have your scissors handy, your brush loaded with decoupage glue. And this is why it really does work better if the paper is wet. It's so much more pliable. It is a little more delicate, but just want to be careful. So when you push down on the corner, you'll have a little excess. If you could snip that off, that's good. If you could do it. Put snips, not all the way up, just little snips along here. Glue, down, press it, press it, press it. Gotta stress that. Press it in here. And, do you see here we've got some excess paper on the end? Easy enough. Snip that. And that is the top. It's still wet, so it's going to look a little off. But we're just about done. And let me put the final touches on. Okay, that's the final product. One other thing I wanted to show you was I decoupage the inside drawer to match the top, added the violin there, added the word violin down here, and wanted to ask you to please subscribe to my videos. I am putting new videos up every week. I am the author of the book Upcycle with Decoupage. We're trying to take any kind of unwanted furniture, baskets, bottles, vases, you name it. I try to turn everything into something else. Except for people. I let people be, but <laughs> furniture, things of that nature. Uh, every week I'm putting new videos up, so please subscribe. Why don't you head on over to Amazon and take a look at my book. My name is Patty Elhoff, and again I'm the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. Hope I helped you out. If you have any questions, just send me a little note and I'll help you out. Thanks.